the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lights here, we're back with another video guys and we're going to talk about piff network and we are in that season where the kind of gains that you're making on uh the dgen plays uh altcoins uh on chain right um you're going to be able to make those kind of gains now in you know the higher cap altcoins or mid caps okay and uh, specifically you know on exchanges and things like that you know the the kind of tokens that follow the market okay guys because we're in the season where it's kind of verified that we're going to have a bull run, all right? or at least a massive bull run, okay? Um, and an altcoin season, that being said, okay, guys? So, you know, it's not going to happen overnight, but um, we're going to talk about this particular project as a long-term hold. And when I say long-term, I mean um, just holding for the bull run, basically, okay, guys? So, you know, you're selling around, you know, 2025. You're waiting for at least after the halving, at least six to 12 months, uh, possibly even 18 months after the halving, the Bitcoin halving, okay? Um, going into 2025, early to mid-2025, potentially near the end of 2025, okay? Holding out on these particular plays, uh, if you have the willpower to do it, and making, you know, exponential gains, okay, guys? Uh, with Bitcoin being at the level where it's at, okay? We are seeing a breakout on Bitcoin, Okay, and Bitcoin is looking like it's going to push potentially towards uh, 30 to 40, uh, sorry, 30 to 40, uh, 40k, okay, 40k and beyond. We're sitting at 38k, just under 38k at the moment, okay, guys. So, um, with that being said, okay, if Bitcoin decides to do something crazy and drastically pull back, especially with it being a weekend right now, you have to take extra caution. Uh, that could, you know, obviously bring the altcoins down. But right now, we are seeing um, across the board in altcoins, right? We're seeing, um, you know, 30% gains, right? Uh, 20 to 30, 35% gains. Okay, guys. So this would indicate that we are in a bullish uh, season, at least for the short term. All right, guys. Now, PIF Network is one that I've been holding. Okay. It only launched, um, how long ago did it launch? Maybe uh, a few days ago. Okay. It launched on the 20th, so around four days now. Okay, guys, so I've been holding this for a few days and, uh, you know, most most of the time you don't want to buy an altcoin right at the beginning. Okay, when it launches on an exchange. Now, this launch on multiple exchanges. Okay, and, um, you know, I got in this you know, pretty early in this particular cycle. Okay, there's 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 a lot of risk, uh, risk to downside when they launch because of VCs and so on. Okay, guys, hence this wick that you can see on the chart. All right, guys. But um, ultimately, this has been climbing in an uptrend ever since. As you can see, it's in a rising wedge or it was in a rising wedge and it has since broken out of that rising wedge. Found support above it, okay? It's not horizontal support. Again, it's a rising wedge, okay? But it's a very early chart. There's not going to be much TA you can do on it, okay, guys? And now what we're looking at is, uh, yeah, we see this breakout of this rising wedge. And if we alter this, right, you'll see that we have a line of resistance that is kind of, uh, you know, uh, fighting against at the moment if it breaks out of this you know it's probably likely uh more than likely it's going to test at least the top of the week okay guys and if it breaks out of there then we see much higher uh prices for this in the short term okay but ultimately we're looking at the long-term potential of piff network okay guys so piff network in my opinion is a super bullish project uh, one of the ecosystems that you see being spoken about a lot right now is Solana. Okay, so Solana is, you know, it's, it's, it's clearly been making waves. Okay, there was a lot of, you know, uh, anxiety, um, you know, after the whole FTX uh, drama. Okay, guys, and people didn't know whether, you know, Solana was going to come back. Okay, but Solana was basically, you know, caught in the crossfire between the FUD because FTX was one of the main shareholders or investors in Solana. Okay, guys, so when FTX went down, Solana ultimately paid a little bit of the price for, you know, um, I shouldn't say paid the price, but suffered from some of the collateral damage from FTX. FTX and Sam Bankman free that whole uh, debacle. Okay, guys, but uh, since then we see, you know, Solana has been building, um, they're growing in NFTs, gaming, all right, guys, and uh, DeFi as well. And Solana is clearly 
uh, making moves it's pumping okay guys so um a lot of vcs and you know uh, large institutions are heavily invested and interested in solana uh, which brings me to the whole narrative okay so piff network is in the solana narrative another uh, one that people are talking about a lot and have been you know i mean it was a start of the previous born on chain link okay guys and um, chain link is one that still is doing pretty well okay in terms of price action at the moment Chainlink is doing pretty well and you know we can't limit it to these two tokens uh, but we're going with the narrative okay but Chainlink amongst many other projects okay at the moment has been pumping okay and what we're doing is we're looking for the the, the tokens that are performing they've had a beautiful consolidation okay and um, you know they are stars of the previous bull run but you know you there's never any guarantee that they're going to perform as well in the next bull run but Chainlink and solana are basically proving that to be the case at the moment okay guys that they are uh, going to do well this bull run so piff network is basically uh the main competitor to Chainlink at the moment but ultimately on the solana blockchain okay so there's two narratives that make this bullish one being the solana ecosystem and two being the Chainlink uh you know oracle um you know um uh you know information web services um all that sort of stuff okay guys so with piff network it's basically said to be faster than uh, Chainlink. okay it aggregates the data faster than Chainlink does and if you don't know you know many people watching know what these things are i'm not going to explain everything okay but you know uh, piff network is one that uh it may be new to us okay it may be new to us but to a bunch of dApps and developers out there, right? It's not new, okay? The token is new, but the whole uh, uh, infrastructure is not new, okay, guys? So these guys already have 230 plus apps uh, on their, um, you know, using their data, uh, 40 plus blockchains, okay? 380 plus data fees and 65 million updates, okay, guys? And a bunch of partnerships. So, um, you know this is a very good project by all means and what you'd have to do is do your own research don't risk more than what you can afford to lose okay guys but um if you go and check out a few um you know um seminars and you know um what is it what they're called conferences okay these guys are there and they're well known in the space maybe not to us like i said maybe not to the the retail investor right but to in institutions and the uh you know the, the developers you know huge networks especially like solana piff network is nothing new to them but the token is okay so that's what we're investing in is the token and the bullish potential of this token in a bull run and what you find in the bull run okay uh, historically the newer altcoins tend to outperform a lot of the older ones okay it doesn't it doesn't happen in every case but they do particularly well okay guys because there's a lot of hype there it's new okay guys and ultimately it's speculation okay guys so with piff network yes there might not be much of a chart previous chart history to go by but um ultimately we're going to be going into price discovery once we take out this wick okay and people like to chase the new shiny objects so this is new and that's why i think that this is going to do well along with the fact that it's you know part of the solana ecosystem i believe the solana solana is going to do well but there's going to be tokens in the Solana ecosystem that at this point outperform Solana. Um, and Piff Network is one of those that I believe. Okay, a lot of huge influencers are talking about them as well. So this is on the radar with a lot of big money. People are going to be waiting for dips, buying dips on this particular token. And I see it strong, uh, holding up strong. People are going to be holding it throughout the bull run, in my opinion. Especially we see with the way Chainlink performed previously. This is the only competitor. And, um, you know, there's, there's there's always space for a new champion in in the space okay guys so with this sitting under a billion market cap i think i got in about 500 million market cap and again this isn't your 1 million 10 million you know under 20 50 million market cap token okay guys but you know there's huge potential for you know this and you know these kind of you know uh, uh tokens and um, higher market cap coins especially now in this season to still do your 50 to 100 x and even potentially more um in the bull run okay guys um so this being at 880 million you know if this was to get to you know uh, uh you know 10 billion okay uh 8 billion there's your 10x okay now i know it sounds like a lot 
but there's huge potential for this to go a lot higher especially if we look at chain link even chain link after the pullback right now um let's have a look at where the market cap is sitting um it's sitting at 8 billion okay guys so this is 10x less uh piff network is 10x less than market cap of chain link and that's chain link after a pullback okay chain link at its peak okay the market cap was sitting at uh, approximately 20 billion and the, the the potential is for chain link to eclipse that in this bull run okay it's not far from taking that out to be honest a little bit more than 100 percent okay guys and uh you just look at the potential if piff could get to 20 billion you know it's a huge multiplier from where it is now in comparison to chain link and if it goes a lot higher than that as well you know print you 50 to 100 x obviously you know uh, you're gonna make a lot of gains on this particular token okay and Again, Solana goes crazy. This is just going to go crazy. Kind of like speeds up the process. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to make a video on Piff Network because I'm super bullish on this project. Uh, again, it could come down in the short term. But um, yeah, um, you know, in the short term, I still believe it's going to go higher. Okay, guys. But longer term, uh, we're probably going to see a huge run out of this particular project. Okay, guys. So that's really all I've got for you in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. Like the video, which helps uh, with the YouTube algorithm. Probably going to be a series of these types of altcoins I'm going to talk about now. A little bit more than DGEN plays. Okay, guys. But we are still going to, you know, we're DGENs at heart. So we're still going to be talking about the DGEN plays. Because that's where a lot of this money is made. And then we can roll that money to safer projects like PIF Network. Okay, guys. So uh, that's all, really, all I've got for you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.